Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Itachap Reviewers. In this video, I have two really cool stories that I think you're gonna enjoy. So the first one here is that Apple accidentally allowed downgrades all the way back to iOS 6 earlier today. So this was obviously on Thursday, January 11th. Um, but this is just a really interesting story uh, and kind of shows you that Apple is not infallible. They do mess up sometimes. And this is a pretty big mess up. So, well, some people saw it as a great thing. So let's go through this and take a look. So basically older software was available for downgrade uh, for people's phones, obviously different phones. You could expect different uh, iOS versions to go down to, but the situation began late Wednesday when Apple suddenly stopped signing all iOS versions for select devices, including the iPhone 4S and some very old iPad and iPod touch models, according to the website IPSW.me. Next, it appears that when Apple went to flip the switch back on, it accidentally began signing several older software versions between 6 and 11 for any compatible iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch models. And uh, so if we click on this, uh, this goes to a Twitter picture here and you guys can see uh, the different versions that you could downgrade to. So this guy uh, noticed this. And then if we go back here, uh, Apple routinely stops signing older iOS versions, which effectively closes the window on downgrading. We all know that everyone that wants to jailbreak knows that as well. Companies stopped signing iOS 11.1.2 in December, for example, while many older versions haven't been signed yet in years. Yet suddenly users found themselves able to downgrade to five-year-old software, which is crazy. So let's open up this Twitter picture here and you guys can see they opened up iOS 6.1.3 and he's got that running on his iPod touch. And man, those days were great when the iPhone looked like that, the operating system, those were the good days. Many users turned to Reddit to discuss the bizarre turn of events, which transpired briefly during the early morning hours in the United States. Literally ran into my parents' room to grab my dad's poor old iPhone 5S and iPad mini too, both of which were suffering on iOS 11. Now I managed to downgrade them to iOS 7.1.1. I then downgraded my old iPhone 5 to 7.1.1 as well, and iPhone 7 to 10.3 to jailbreak. I'm so happy right now. So these people were actually able to get in on this. A lot of people didn't. A lot of us were asleep. Um, because it happened very late at night or early, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, so this guy actually got really lucky. 7.1.1. Wow. Those were, that was some time ago. Um, but yeah, so, so this just goes to show that, hey, Apple messes up sometimes. And uh, to some people, it's a great thing. However, to all these people, if you're watching this video, just know that those versions of iOS are no longer secure anymore, really. I mean, there's been so many security advancements since 7.1.1. That's the only major downfall here even ios 10.3 um, there's been some serious flaws corrected in ios 11 so uh, i guess for a jailbreak it doesn't matter too much but that's just crazy that people could get on to ios 6. so anyways let's go on to the next story so this one is almost equally as crazy and that's that the imac pro is now a thousand dollars off at micro center stores uh, for 3999 while supplies last this is kind of unheard of for apple to be uh, marking down their products so much so soon, but I don't think that Apple's actually marking this down. I think Micro Center might actually be eating this cost here. So I think they're actually going to lose a thousand dollars on every sale here, um, give or take. So I think they're also just doing this for publicity. So, I mean, obviously this is a lot cheaper than trying to buy ads on Facebook or anything else to, you know, promote your store. Instead, just chop a thousand dollars off of some of your iMac pros and get media coverage from people like me, Mac Rumors, and I'm sure the news is gonna pick this up as well. But if you want, you guys can now go in to a Micro Center store. I think it's only in stores. I think it says down here, yeah, not online. So you have to go in. There's actually one uh, relatively close to me. So I was considering going and buying one of these and just flipping it for, I don't know, 4,500 and make $500 profit. Uh, but it's for the base model. Uh, no one's sure yet if the other models are going to be discounted as well. Probably not. Uh, but yeah, so if you want the iMac Pro and you want to save a thousand bucks, limit one per person in store only. And yeah, so go ahead and get that. But a lot of people down here in the comments are uh, <laughs> speaks volumes like so basically saying that no one wants it. But I don't know if that's necessarily true. I think Micro Center just might be trying to get some publicity. They got it. There they go. So if you want it, go grab it for grand. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.